fucking shirt. I just need you to give me a lot of decided to do it and they figured it out. Maybe their first scene wasn't that good, but their next was great. Maybe their first band was okay, but their next was incredible. Maybe their first band failed and the next one was awesome. You start, you try, you fail, you start again, you get better and better and better. And the things you learn yeah. here don't just give meaning to everybody else in this room. They change the world. And I promise you they change the world in your jobs and your families and your communities. So what you learn here this is something we take out and we make a difference in the world. It's not just about keeping the secret here, all the good stuff here. It's about taking out to other places. I want to thank In Time. I want to thank Evo Warriors. I want to thank one of my personal favorite bands right now, Ben Blue. I want to thank our dear friends who we love and respect and are so thankful to be playing shows with Berthold City. We want to thank this venue and we want to thank all of you. Let's have fun for the next 20 minutes.
That was so much better than yesterday. Well, thanks everybody. Um, this is truly an all ages show. And I just came in like it's the coolest thing. We've got our friends' kids here. We've got really, really young people. Maybe some people who this is their first show. We got people from bands that have been around for a long time, playing music for a long time. People that we respect, people who influenced us. It's just an incredible experience to be in a room where it's like really all ages. And that's why we do this. Not to have barriers. We can be in a room and have so much to learn from each other. All we gotta do is make that kind of community and then it happens. Anyone tells you you can't have an all ages show? No way, you can do that, you figure it out. There's no reason to keep anyone away from the door. You start breaking people down like that, you got nothing left. So, always on it, just always on it. Always on every show. challenge ourselves. I gotta tell you, man, I was raised in a Catholic family, and my parents were fucking wonderful. The most loving, kind people in so many ways. And there's so much stuff that they were taught that they didn't need to teach me. And it's been so cool to watch my mom go through this real awakening of like, how can I be a better person in this world? And it's because she's being challenged. We're being challenged by people who are openly and honestly trying to have a conversation and say, hey, we gotta look at it a different way. And yeah, my mom's still Catholic. My mom's supposed to church. But I'll tell you what, my mom's probably become, she's always been a wonderful, open-minded person. She didn't realize how close-minded she was once she realized that she addressed it. And I hope that I'm always trying to do the same, and I believe everyone else in this room is doing the same. We do that through conversation, persistent, direct, Open it up for people. Give them action. Push them out the list. And the first place we do it is in ourselves, though. We challenge ourselves. Because if we think we don't have to have that hidden prejudice, of course we do. Of course we do. It doesn't make us bad people unless we fail to challenge it. This song 
is about challenging those spaces. share love of the music and the ideas and the message and the community and also it's like man you can go and have like a, a really great life and you can carry these values and bring them into your workplace and your community and it's just cool seeing people doing it. I also want to thank uh, Your Life in America podcast so buddy here did an interview with us Okay next two songs I'm gonna need a break after still, guys, or after after beyond. So I've got one time. Um, by the way, when Ben Blue was playing and they did the Dang Nasty cover, just as yeah, give it up for Ben Blue. What a great. Okay, okay, guys. Oh shit! Get all this. 
so just as Diego started to tuck into that solo in the song, who do I spy in the corner but Mike, our guitar player? And Mike starts giving him the hairy eyeball, like, is he going to pull off the solo? And Mike got his real skeptical face on. And then Diego's getting hunger deeper in, and Mike gets this little twinkle in his eye. I can only see his eye because he has his mask on. But then the smile starts coming, and Diego pulls off that last note, and Mike goes, yeah. And I thought, guitar players, you know? Hey, what about your freaks? Who are you guys to talk about pedal boards next? Or what? That's what I'm This song is called Beyond. Uh, it's about mental health. And I know, hey, it's cool that this is a, a topic that we can talk about now, right? It's awesome. And of course, we've been in this horrible situation for the past almost two years. And even before that, yes, we're talking about it more, but God damn it, think of all the people you know who you didn't realize were depressed. They were suicidal, they're doubting themselves, they're anxiety ridden. Maybe they had uh, all sorts of different kind of mental health concerns that they had in their family, and they weren't talking about it. And they weren't talking about it for all sorts of reasons. Some are practical, they don't want to burden other people, they don't want to look like they can't handle their lives, they're embarrassed, and then impractical reasons, like they don't know how to talk about it or maybe they don't feel like, I can talk about it, it's gonna get worse. And I'm one of those people. A few years ago, I went through a really, really bad situation, and my mental health just went out the window. Totally isolated, cut off ties from almost all my friends, and I just spent a really long time contemplating what I wanted and if I wanted to be here anymore. And I got real scared, because I do want to be here, I just didn't know what to do. And you see me, and I, I'm a guy who can get up in front of talk, get up in front of people and talk. But God damn it, I'm just like anyone else and I can suffer and I can get afraid to talk and to tell people. But I'll tell you, when I started talking, everyone listened and they cared and I was surprised who came out of the woodwork to, to help me out. And this band exists because I decided to put these ideas down on paper and talk about it. I shared them with Chris. Chris encouraged me to bring it forward. That's how the record came out. That's how this band's here. But none of it happens without talking and none of it happens without listening. So if you're in a bad spot, talk about it. That's it, just talk about it. People are gonna listen. And for anyone here, you don't have to be some therapist. All you gotta do is listen. And if they need help, you help them find help. Don't worry, if someone brings you something that's too big for you to handle, you don't have to solve it for them. You just have to team up with them to help them find someone who can help them work through it together. So for anyone here suffering, or if you su or know someone who's suffering, this one's for you, this one's called Beyond. <laughs> Tonight. 
I think that all the bands tonight personify this fucking hardcore and punk world, man. It's awesome. I love it. I love the scene. I love the music. Also, shout out to Slog13 who couldn't play tonight because that helps with your Absolute classic band. Huge respect to them. Um, so we're in this community. If you're young, if you're new to shows, you might think this is a perfect, perfect world. Everybody takes care of each other. It's wonderful. No way. Human beings are messy. We're messy fucking people. We're on this huge ride together called life. And you're going to have people that let you down. You're going to let people down. People are going to do awful shit. You're going to do awful shit. Some of it's going to be unforgivable. And some of it's going to be understandable. And maybe forgivable. The whole idea here is this isn't a perfect group of people. We're here probably because we had some kind of bump in life that helped us find this scene. Do you think that means we're going to show up and all our problems are going to go away? Fuck no. Of course not. So here's the thing. Watch your back. Watch your friends back. Watch out for each other. If people make mistakes, say something. If you see something, talk to people. Have the conversations. It doesn't mean it's going to fix it, but at least try it. One conversation almost never fixes something. It's usually a few conversations. It's usually a few people talking about it. This scene's never going to be perfect because it's not built perfect because we're people. But it is something that has huge value for us. And when you have that moment where you're like, holy shit, we're actually just as bad, if not worse, to each other than this outside world, I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Think real hard. There's probably things here that you learn that you wouldn't learn anywhere else or maybe not in the same way. This is some special, special stuff that goes on here. We just always have to be thinking. People are people. We can do those things. We have to figure out, find your right people, find your right community, have the hard conversations, be in that space. And at the end of the day, hardcore punk, it's not perfect, but goddammit, it's a beautiful, powerful scene. And it's ours. It's ours. <laughs>
This song is next to Don't Express. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been in a, a family relationship or a friendship or a relationship where you both just do the wrong things at every turn. And you say and do the wrong things. And it's great and it's terrible and it's great. And you walk away and everyone's blaming each other. And maybe a year or two later you're like, oh shit, actually I was the asshole here. And maybe they're thinking that too. Maybe they're thinking they're the asshole. Just some things don't get fixed. That's it, they just don't get fixed. And you've got these people in your life, there are these satellites, and you see them once in a while, and you're like, this is awful, I wish I didn't have to see them. And they're thinking the same thing, because that thing's not getting fixed. And the thing that I gotta say is, something doesn't have to be fixed for there to be forgiveness. You can forgive someone for being horrible to you, and not have that relationship be fixed. And you can forgive yourself for being a shitty person to someone too. Walking around with an open wound, just hoping something happens, you're wasting your life. Maybe it gets fixed someday, but you don't just sit there wishing on it or being angry about it or sad about it. You do your best to understand your part. You forgive yourself. And you do your best to really understand their part. You forgive them, and then life changes. This all's called on Express. Thank you.